Okay, um, you guys have been seeing me be a correspondent here for the MMA Sports Network for Jens Pulver. Uh, this is the other person involved, is uh, Erwin Swetnam of the MMA Sports Network. Uh, Irwin's the one who put together the opportunity for us to go to Vegas in the first place in January, uh, and we did the, a good job representing the state and uh, the fight team that he put together. That that's why we're going back now in March. So, Irwin, tell me, how did that opportunity come about in January for you to bring the fighters from Idaho? Um, you know, when we came up here about uh, six months ago, we had an idea of uh, getting these guys some more exposure, uh, getting them out in the fight world, uh, trying to get them in front of different crowds, and so we just started making phone calls and. Uh, Ronnie John and Sean Desay out at MMA Explosion in Las Vegas do a show on Planet Hollywood and they invited us out there uh, for the first one and we brought six guys out there and had a great time, did very well. And uh, when we left, we had an open invite back. And so when we got back to town, we kind of put our heads together and talked to some of the people that are involved in the local MMA stuff and just tried to put together the best, uh, best fight team we can for this one. Um, what are you looking forward to this trip in yeah, I guess it, that's different from the last trip. Well, uh, the last trip was great, and it was uh, what got us started. But what we're looking for for on this trip is to uh, really make a mark. Uh, we have three guys that are fighting for title belts in Las Vegas. Um, so we're, we're looking for some wins. We're looking for some exposure. Uh, and we're looking for a, a bigger, better opportunity uh, where we can take our guys and um, you know, not only go to Las Vegas, but get that invite and, and possibly go you know, as many places as we can. I'm excited a little bit uh, more this time. And not, not that last time was any different, but we didn't have any chance to prepare for that. Right. So we went. Right. This time we've been doing fundraising. We've been doing the things to get us there in style and get these fighters there comfortably and bring their friends and family. Right. Um, what has been the biggest obstacle so far in getting these guys to Vegas? Uh, you know, the biggest obstacle for us is just kind of changing the normal mindset of MMA in Idaho. And, and that's just getting the word out, uh, getting people to understand what we're trying to do. Um, it's, it's not necessarily been an obstacle, but it, it takes a little time to, to explain to the fight teams and the trainers and the managers and all the people that are involved and, and help out all these guys, including the sponsors like Badass Bikes and Full Contact Idaho. Um, the, the challenge is generally just getting the word out, but it's getting a lot easier and things are moving a lot quicker. At this point, I know um, it was an obstacle because the, the industry itself uh, lends itself to people getting involved for all the wrong reasons. So it takes a while for you to build up a reputation and be able to go. I'm pretty excited to say we have two of the teams that are, have made a big splash in Idaho, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, Team Crow and uh, Team Hardcore representing us at this fight. Yeah, and, and that's real important for us. Um, Josh Crow and Brandon Shuey uh, have really put a lot of trust in us to uh, take their fighters and and um, take their fight team to a show that you know they're not 100% familiar with. So um, you know we, we have a lot of appreciation for for those guys giving us the opportunity to do that. And you know there's some other guys in the card as well. Uh, Cody Zeber and Zach Owens are are um, you know used to be with Sidekicks, and um, you know Sidekicks was a big part of what we were doing last time, and we really appreciate all the help that they've given us. So it's um, it's a very positive thing. Um, the fact that everybody can come together from different fight teams and actually uh, compete as one team while we're there. Um, are you stuck with Team Crow and Team Hardcore, or can other teams get involved for upcoming events out of town? Oh, no, and I don't necessarily know that stuck is the right word to use. We're, no, we're, I mean, we're, we're blessed to have those, yes. those teams involved. Um, but, no, we, we definitely, uh, on this one and on many more to come, we hope we'd you know, not only like to have uh, Josh and Brandon continue to participate with us, but it's an open invite. And, you know, we're, we, we like to say we're looking for the best to take, but, you know, we have a variety of people on this card. We have guys like Casey Johnson and Alex Lambert that have had quite a few fights. Aaron Sutton um, out of Idaho Falls is, is an MMA veteran in Idaho. Uh, but we also have guys like Jordan Fulmer and Josh McBride. And uh, you, you uh, interviewed uh, Tyler Mack earlier uh, that, you know, they're, they're kind of up and coming. They've only had a couple fights. So um, not only is it is the opportunity open for uh, the best of the best to go out and co compete for these belts and do these other things, but there's also opportunity for the young guys coming up just to get, uh, get different experience than maybe what they're getting in their own backyard. Nice. Um, what sponsors have stepped up this time to help uh, help the team? Oh, geez, we've had a, a ton of help. You know, starting at the top with the MMA Sports Network and uh, Jens Pulver's been a great help uh, getting. Uh, just helping people get motivated and standing behind us. Uh, you and Full Contact Idaho have done a fantastic job uh, kind of taking the reins and, and kind of bringing all the sponsorship pool together. Uh, but definitely Badass Bikes has always done a lot for everybody locally and the fact that they stepped up and they're, they're doing things um, you know, outside of Idaho is really great for us. Um, Hotties Mocha 
has really stepped up. Howdy Smoke is more on Chinden. If you're local, go check them out. Right. Um, you know, Bucks Four Wheeler. Um, right here, the, the the Farm Boy Drive-In. Just the fact that they they brought us out to Middleton and and, and did the fundraiser and did you know the exposure. Uh, and I'm sure there's some I'm missing, but we've we've really got a, a good team of sponsors that are coming together to help. And we only hope that that'll grow. Uh, all this money, you know, as you and I both know, uh, goes to the fighters, and and that's what's important. So these guys can take the trips and be able to travel and get the training they need. So, um, if someone out there is watching this and wants to get their company involved on this level, um, mm -hmm. how do they do that? You know, the first thing, the the easiest way to do is is go check out fullcontactidaho.com. Uh, you guys have done a real good job posting the information on your website. Um, um, a lot of people are, are going there, I know, and hopefully they'll respond to that. Uh, you can also contact me directly at Irwin Swetnam at AOL.com. Um, and generally just, uh, you know, find somebody locally who's who's in the industry and, and they can point you in the right direction. Okay. Uh, I know there's some a couple uh, people that got involved that aren't local here that uh, decided to help this team out, which is uh, Punishment Athletics, Tito Ortiz. Thank you uh, for... for for supporting us with your brand and uh, giving us a chance to represent you. Uh, Split Lip Fight Gear, uh, which is splitlipgear.com out of Colorado, has stepped up and, and decided to help us on this trip. Uh, Va Va Voom, a local company here to us, has been great. Uh, so we, we, we continue to look forward to getting these companies rewarded for helping us. So if you're watching out there, make sure you thank the sponsors that help us bring this stuff to you. It's, uh, it's crucial in us getting these guys to another state to compete against the best. Well, well, and just the fact that, that you know other organizations are coming in, coming in outside of Idaho um, just kind of goes back to the point of you know what you and I have talked uh, many late nights about, and that's just generally getting uh, MMA in Idaho out to the rest of the world. And so we have uh, larger corporations and, and larger MMA businesses that are now standing behind us, and you know we hope to represent them well out there, and hopefully they'll come back. Awesome. Um, we look forward to it. I, I want to read. I don't want to miss anyone. So I'd like to thank specifically uh, people who helped us with this fundraiser today. Uh, were uh, Mike Tisdale at Gold's Gym. Mike, thanks for the all, continued support on everything we do. Uh, always hooks us up with opportunities to promote within Gold's Gym and to get sponsorships and uh, memberships away to Gold's Gym. So if you need uh, any information, get a hold of Mike Tisdale at Gold's Gym. Uh, Cascade Raft and Kayak. Uh, is another one that's that's helping us who are who's a major sponsor of the nogi or gi and nogi jiu-jitsu tournament coming here in april um idaho heat seekers uh design secrets uh soldier May, uh lifestyle story in the boise town square um chalice tattoo ink fever tattoo team crow of course always uh lends their fighters to us as far as access and giving us the interviews um team hardcore yummy meats uh farm boy cafe uh Everybody's been fantastic at getting involved and giving us an opportunity to raise money for these fighters. Um, Boise Party Bus is helping us with uh, donating a bus uh, that we can raffle off, uh, a bus trip in town, which is a really cool deal. I don't know if you've heard of them. They, uh, they've taken the inside of a 56-person of a bus, turned it into a nightclub, pretty much a, a party on wheels. So uh, if you want interested in that, you can get more information for them on our website. Um, anybody else who's looking to get exposure uh, to the fight scene, you can email, like you said, uh, Irwin Swetnam at AOL.com. Can you spell that for the people who might not? F find me on uh, the MMA Sports Network.com. Easy enough. Uh, I'm Fernando Rodriguez for uh, Jens Pulver and the MMA Sports Network. Coming to you here from this last fundraiser that we've got. Uh, we'll be at the fights, uh, raffling off a couple more things, and then we'll see you in Vegas. See you at the fights.